sorry. My attitude last night, I was... When he fell sick, I thought I'd lost him. I really am grateful for all you did. You were great with him. Okay. This is great. You say like when you know the routine, but you must do your head in when you don't want to be here. Fear of losing control. You can stand outside any pub on a Saturday night and see grown men who don't know what day it is. For someone like Cal, it's going to take a long time to come to terms with it. Food colouring, Danny. It's been doing terrible things to your system. No, it hasn't. I like them. I'm here. I'm here, aren't I? You're here because it looked bad if you weren't. Mum doesn't tell me what to think. I make my own decisions. Frog in my throat so big, I think I'm turning into a prince. Talking of whom, here is Prince. Where, or rather, it will be when I get my record back. Okay, own up. Who's nicked it? In the meantime, here's something completely different. <coughs> I think a lot of football teams are going to have cheerleaders like they do in America. Two, four, six, and three, and it's gonna score. Oh, yes, he's playing! Well, the crowd had leave before the kick off. Two, four, six, and three! What do you think you're doing? Uh, not together, huh? Oh, I was just. You were just about to pass to me. <laughs> <laughs> you tune in this Super Formula One customised dialysis machine. That's right. Might even put faster stripes on it. Do they ever grow up? Who? Boys. I know. Caps. Yes! Yes, oh, yes, yes. Oh, oh, In the fast lane of the M61. <laughs> oh, Dr Gallagher, could they have a... Oh, it's not the first time. Oh, I'm sorry. Just keep it in shape in case Kenny Dalgleish gives me the call. What's up? We were just talking about Katie. Right, girl? Have you seen her? Yeah, she's out on the ward. Have you seen her? <laughs> Is this a trick question? Psychedelic hair and tights to match, again. I hadn't noticed. Does it matter? I know we don't agree, Dr Gallagher, about what is and is not appropriate dress on this ward, but I think if the nursing officer were to hear of this, Nurse Graham's career might be in some jeopardy, bright as she may be. Nurse Mitchell, I don't honestly All believe... All right! There you are, Lucy. <laughs> hey, you going to come and do some drawing? I'll draw Jack. Oh. <laughs> He looks bonny. A lot better than when he first came in. Oh, I'm glad he's all right. Be a day or two before we show whether it's worked, Dr Gallagher says. Oh, I'll be OK. He's all right, he's Dr Gallagher. Yeah. Soon be your turn, eh? Give it to me! Give it to me, Rod! Be... Samper, I'll get you! Hey, calm down. Isn't it bungo? The pair of you. What's the matter? Isn't it my comic? I thought it was. Without asking, you just took it. Hey, Danny, I thought we'd seen the last of this kind of thing. You should have asked. Max. He's given to his diet, I hope. No midnight feast of sweets and things, as far as I know. He's all right. Well, I hope you're keeping a close eye on him. There's no point in running a control test if there's no control. He's all right. Well, what was all that about, then? That was a ten-year-old boy who was browned off because somebody had pinched his comic, that's all. The boy lacks any real discipline. Nurse Graham, could I have a word, please? It's not worth fighting over a comic, Cal, now, is it? He's a little... And you're old enough to know better. If a teacher talks to me like you... I'll be straight out of the classroom. Well, you know where the door is. It's cold outside, though. So you're staying? Good. Because I don't fancy chasing it all around South Park again or explaining to Sister Meadows when I disappear too. I have to stop in here, they're two-faced. At least you'll straight up break of me. Go on, <coughs> say it. Yeah, the epilepsy. You told me straight what I had to do. You didn't make it seem like some big deal. Well, it can still be serious. Yeah, 
but I can handle it. It's a faulty wink. I'll show you the skill to them. Mm. Are you in? Mm. Do you want a Chris? Aren't you supposed to eat these? I've got to build myself up, Anna. I like this, don't you, Ray? In fact, I like all kinds of food. In fact, I can't think of any food I don't like, except cabbage and purple jelly and that yellow stuff on birthday cakes. Have you heard the DJ sounds like a rusty gate? And he had a dead sexy voice and all. I don't mind being a dish jockey. Yeah. You have women jockeys in the Grand National, you know. What? Playing records? No, but it's the principal, in it? Is it? I'm going to ask if we can be the dish jockey. Go away. Let him rest his voice. I've got our eardrum. I'll lay some groovy sounds on you. The whole of Sparky's will be hopping and a popping, and I'll be rapping and a yapping. What's new? You can have these, Lee. I've got six more packets in my locker. Good morning, Sparky's. What did you do that for? You've been told before, but I will tell you again. Your kidneys aren't working properly. Your body will not tolerate harmful substances. Yeah, I know all that. Sister Meadows did a test. Potassium level was too low. She said I could have them. Straight up. All right. I'm sorry about the crisps. But perhaps now you'll realise how important it is to stick to your diet, especially when you're at home and we're not around. What's that? I caught him eating crisps, but he tells me his potassium level's low. Since when? Look, it's no good trying to fool us here, Lee. You're fooling yourself, stuffing yourself with things that become poisons in your body. And you're supposed to be keeping an eye on him. Hey, I can't spend all my time on children's ward. I am supposed to be on the renal unit, you know. Sorry. I'm bored. When can I go home? When you realise that you've got a serious illness, but you can lead a pretty normal life if you accept responsibility for it. And all that goes with that. Dr Gallagher, can you come to the baby ward? It's little Jack. <laughs> Sorry for getting you in bother. Oh, I can take care of myself. What do we have to do to make you take care of yourself, eh? It's screamed out in agony. I couldn't do anything. Look at the colour of him. Keely, take Gail for a cup of tea, please. I want to do something to help him. Go on, he'll be all right, honest. We'll let you know what's happening. There's blood in the stools. It doesn't look as though the animals worked. Get him to the theatre. Dr. Gallagher, who is in the office? What's that? It's what the administrator calls human and resources management. He never let rent a mouth on the radio. Yeah, but say he did. But he won't. Say he did, though. <laughs> I've been dreading this. As the surgeon said, the sooner he has the operation, the better. Why does it have to be my baby? 